One of the best places to immerse yourself in nature is in an ancient woodland. Step into the undergrowth and stand for a while. Listen to the birds, the wind in the trees, the rustle of small mammals scurrying through the leaves. Forget the present and absorb the atmosphere of somewhere which has stood for many hundreds of years. What is an ancient woodland? Why are these woods special? An ancient wood is one which has been present since the year 1600 in England and Wales and since 1750 in Scotland. Having been covered with trees and shrubs for hundreds of years, these woods are important places for wildlife. Tree cover undisturbed soils and decaying wood have led to the development of communities of plants, fungi, insects and other organisms which are unique. They provide food, shelter and breeding habitat for many birds and mammals. Once destroyed Ancient woods cannot be replaced. New plantations are no substitute for ancient woodland. At first glance, a plantation might look like an ancient woodland, and an ancient woodland look like a plantation, such as here, where destructive 20th century management has replaced broadleaf trees with conifers. So how do we recognise ancient woodland? Some ancient woods can be identified using old maps and it is the improvements in mapping from the 16th century onwards which set the 1600 date for determining if a wood is called ancient or not. Here we see a series of maps dating back to the 17th century showing Priors Coppice, an ancient woodland near Braunston in Rutland. If there are no maps, documentary evidence might identify ancient woods, going back as far as the Doomsday Book in 1087, or, co or occasionally even earlier from Anglo-Saxon charters and perambulations. However, where there is no reliable documentary evidence, it is still possible to identify ancient woodland, because they are home to unique communities of plants and other species. Many woodland species are restricted to woodland habitats and have limited ability to spread. They are unable to colonise new plantations which remain species poor compared with old woodland. Identifying these ancient woodland indicators helps to identify ancient woodland. The exact composition of these indicators varies across different parts of the country but include such plants as Bluebell, Herb Paris, Wood Anemone, and Wood Sorrel. Other features, if present, help to confirm this identification. Many ancient woodlands were once surrounded by great banks and ditches, which served to keep out browsing animals or to retain deer. Where woods have not been reduced in size, these banks can still be identified and indicate the presence of an ancient site. Other historical features include old pollard trees marking boundaries and giant coppice stools within the body of the wood indicating a long continuity of traditional woodland management. Ancient woodland covers just 2.5% of the UK and is an irreplaceable resource. However, many have been damaged by felling and replanting with conifers. Air pollution and disease are causing further decline and many are under threat of outright destruction by development. Learn how to identify ancient woodlands and support their protection and restoration 
so that future generations can immerse themselves in their special atmosphere.